Hi, I'm Brad with Family Handyman. You know, every year we do a garage issue where we make over a garage and add a bunch of cool DIY type things to it. And rain or shine, it's gotta get done. So we're gonna go after it today. And one of the things that we're installing is a mini split. Now, if you need heating or cooling in a, in a space, this is a perfect idea because you don't need any duct work. You don't need to call in an HVAC guy because this system from Climate Right is all charged and ready to go. So you can do it yourself. I've got some helpers today, so it should go pretty quick. Let's get started. Installing this mini split system from Climate Right is pretty simple. We start by positioning the bracket on the wall and leveling it and attaching it to the studs using screws or drywall anchors. Next, we need to cut a hole through the wall for the line set. We're going to start with a smaller diameter bit that's long enough to go all the way through the wall. And that's going to give us a pilot and a starter hole both inside and outside. We'll repeat this process from the outside to connect these two large holes. Next we'll pass the line set through the hole and hang the evaporator on the bracket. Then we'll attach the condensate hose extension on the outside. We attach the exterior mounting bracket to the wall and bolted the condenser to it. Pretty straightforward installation so far. We're about halfway through. You can see we've got the compressor mounted to the wall outside. Now we're gonna run the line set out through the hole and start working on making the electrical connections. Now we hook up the refrigerant lines. We position the line set where we want it to go and then cover it with this protective channel. Now we just flip on our new circuit and the mini split is ready to go. So that's pretty much a wrap on our mini split install. And this thing is going to be great for this small garage space. And they're also perfect for a three season porch or an upstairs room that gets too hot in the summer. And for more DIY garage projects, visit us at familyhandyman.com.